Wisdom shines in talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. My comments bring this profound wisdom into your experience. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is Talk 219. Ramakrishna Swami, a long resident disciple, asked Maharshi the meeting of Twayaranachala Sarvam, a stanza in the five hymns. Maharshi explained it in detail, saying that the universe is like a painting on a screen, the screen being the red hill, Aranatula, that which rises and sinks up is made up of what it rises from. The finality of the universe is the god Aranatula. Meditating on him or on the seer, the self, there's a middle vibration, I, to which all are reduced. Tracing the source of I, the primal I, I, alone remains over, and it is inexpressible. The seat of realization is within, and the seeker cannot find it as an object outside him. That seat is bliss and the core of all beings, hence it is called the heart. The only useful purpose of the present birth is to turn within and realize it. There is nothing else to do. Questioner, how is annihilation of predispositions to be accomplished? Maharshi, you are in that condition in realization. Questioner, does it mean that Holding on to the self, the tendency should be scorched as they begin to emerge. Maharshi, they will themselves be scorched only if you remain as you truly are. Ramakrishna Swami asked Ramana Maharshi about the meaning of a stanza in the five hymns to Arunachala. This is the stanza. As on a screen, a wondrous picture on you, fair mount, is all this world formed and sustained and then withdrawn. Ever as I in the heart you dance, hence you are called the heart. Maharshi's response is profound. Maharshi explains the verse. It says that the universe is like a painting on a screen, rising as Aranachala. That which rises and sinks, the universe that comes and goes, is made up from what emanates from Aranachala and ever dances as your spiritual heart. Maharshi emphasizes that everything in the universe, the rising and sinking, what comes and goes, is only the same being consciousness. The finality, the ultimate truth of the universe, is identified with the divine presence of Aranachala. Ramana talks of meditation on Aranachala, or the seer, the true self. He says what he calls a mental vibration, represented by I, emerges. In his recounting of his self-realization at 16, he called this vibration a current. By tracing the source of I within yourself, you find the primal I, I, an inexpressible state. And everything in this universe is only 
this I, I. The seat of realization, says Maharshi, is within, described as the heart, which is bliss and the core of all beings. It is the spiritual heart, not the physical one. This inner realization is the ultimate purpose of our present birth. Ramana urges us to turn inward and discover this profound truth within ourselves. Now, the conversation takes a practical turn when the disciple asks about the annihilation of predispositions. These are vasanas or tendencies. Maharshi responds that being in the state of realization itself puts you in that condition. Holding on to the self, tendencies naturally get scorched as they arise. The key is to remain true to your real nature, and the predispositions will wither away on their own. For my teacher, the dissolution of tendencies was a primary part of his practice prior to Sahaja Samadhi, the realization that no longer comes and goes. He taught that tendencies are based on misidentification. With this misidentification is a mistaken idea of where happiness comes from. Vasanas can be resolved by inquiry into the misidentification and into the source of happiness. This dialogue encapsulates the teachings of Ramana Maharshi, emphasizing self-inquiry, meditation on the ultimate reality, the resolution of tendencies, and the importance of turning within to realize the true nature of the self. It beautifully weaves together the philosophical aspects of Advaita Vedanta with practical guidance for spiritual seekers. So, inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 